Once again, before we bless your water, never forget this. If you find yourself in a situation which is beyond your control, never forget that you still have the control of your heart. I mean, you can decide on how to react. You can decide on what to say. My people, a bad situation handled well is most likely to turn out good. In a good situation handled in a bad way is more likely to turn bad. But again, a bad situation handled badly turns out disastrous. Paul and Silas are the greatest example of this. They found themselves in a very bad situation. Jailed for preaching the gospel. But the way they handled that situation, they handled their situation with utmost care. And because of that, the very situation turned out good. Your reaction to whatever you are going through determines the end. What you say to whatever situation you are facing can either energize the situation or bring down the situation. When Jesus found himself in the boat in a situation that called for fear, panic, he decided to react in a positive way by means of faith. Paul and Silas reacted by means of faith. Daniel reacted by faith. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego by faith. Moses by faith. And this is your time. If you are a child of God, you must be a woman or a man of faith. And if you are a man of faith, your reaction should be a reaction of faith. Because the greatest tool that the Almighty has given you is your faith. React by faith. Talk by faith. Walk by faith. Look at your situation by faith. Whatever circumstance, whatever situation you are going through, faith is there to rescue you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, whatever your situation, I want to look at the situation by faith and say to you, the Egyptians that you see today, you shall see no more in the name of Jesus Christ. The sickness you see today, you shall see no more in the name of Jesus. I'm saying there shall be an earthquake in your life that shall shake the foundation of the prison the devil has kept you in in the name of Jesus and your prison doors shall open in the name of Jesus the prison of sickness shall open in the name of Jesus the prison of disease shall open in the name of Jesus father may there be an earthquake in the life of this person in the name of Jesus Christ let their prison doors break open in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I release you from whatever you are going through in Jesus Christ's name. I release you from whatever you are going through in Jesus Christ's name. I release you from whatever you are going through in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever your condition, it does not matter. What matters is the reaction of faith. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you free. I declare you free. I declare you free. I declare you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit that has been tormenting you, that has been disturbing you, that has been deceiving your life, I set you free from such spirit in the name of Jesus. Any unclean spirit that has set itself up against you, let your freedom come in the name of Jesus. Let your freedom come in the name of Jesus Christ. And wherever you are, let my cup, my glass, represent yours. May this glass be anointed so that when you drink from it, you may be set free and free forever in Jesus Christ's name. My dear people, your glass of water is blessed. Due to the power of God in this water, I'm expecting numerous testimonies in your life. God has promised to heal you and he shall heal you. He has promised to deliver you and he shall deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't wait to hear your testimony. Please share with me your testimony in Jesus Christ's name. You may drink from your glass. Thank you.